What's up? Man, I'm right in your face there. I always seem like I'm like monotone when I do this stuff. I need to be like more excited, like pumped up. Like, remember the crazy chocolate chips? I should be like that all the time. Anyway, uh, chicken soup. I got everything started already. We're, we're gonna, we're just, we're just gonna kick right into it. Haven't seen you guys for a while, or you haven't seen me for a while. But, uh, I don't know if you've been waiting in anticipation for me to come back or what. It's been a while, like a month or two, I believe. I'm gonna have to go back and check. I haven't even been, like, on the internet lately. Just disappeared. Anyway, let's get this started. I'm gonna do chicken soup. I got the chicken, uh, I just took some chicken breasts and I, uh, sliced them, diced them, julienne. They go great on french fries. Put them in. <laughs> Put them into the pan here. Uh, let's get that all started. Or let's see what I've got started already. We can do a little close there. Okay. So I put some oil in there. Uh, we've got the chicken going right now. Uh, we're going to want to put in a few other things here. So I've got a couple of cloves of garlic that I'm going to do. <sighs> let's see. I'm not going to do this too overpowering here. So, I'm going to go with, what do you think, three, four cloves of garlic. Let's go with four, maybe three. Anyway. Sorry. I always, you know, you guys know me. I do my videos and they're like spur of the moment. So, I've got to get everything all cut up and everything while I'm doing it and everything 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 so let's slice up our garlic I know I'm not showing you it but I'm sure you all know how to what garlic looks like and how to cut it up um, yeah, so what have you guys been up to lately? What have I been doing? Oh boy, you don't even want to know. So many things. I always say like I don't do anything. It's like same shit, different day. But I guess my life is filled with different things, complex things, you know, like everybody else is. But anyway... So we get our garlic in there. All we're doing for the chicken here is we're giving it a quick, uh, a quick cook of brown so we can, well, we're going to infuse the garlic in there, one thing. And the other thing we're going to do is we're making sure that everything stays moist and juicy with this. But once we get this going, now the next thing we're going to do, this is why I need like, uh, a cameraman or something so they can watch me or if I had like an automatic thing so I could like have a face recognition follow me around anyway so we got that going gonna keep it really basic gonna put in uh, some tomatoes not too many just a few these are I'm, I'm gonna I'm trying to keep everything like home obviously I didn't get the chicken from home I could possibly get the garlic from home and grow it but I didn't do that this year um, I'm gonna do basil I don't know if you see the basil up here Grew a lot of basil. Did all the basil. Anyway, did a lot of the basil. We're gonna put that in there. I have some dried already that's still hanging out to dry. It's about ready. Um, taking that, we're gonna put that in there. Uh, I got some onion I'm gonna cut up and put in there. Uh, carrots, celery. Just a little bit of seasonings, and that's about it. I'm gonna keep it simple, and I already like I've already corrupted it as far as keeping it simple goes, because I've got all these different things in here. But it's a medley of taste. It's very good. Um, rosemary is another thing I'm gonna get in there. So I'm gonna get the rosemary in there in a second. We're gonna get uh, our our juices going in there. We're gonna put our water in. We're gonna put in our rosemary and basil, like I said, and we're gonna let everything seep and infuse and become delicious. So I got to get out the uh, the basil, sorry, not the basil, the celery and the onions. Well, the onions already out. I can't think of what it's called. Celery and carrots. There you go. So I'm going to get that out. We're going to cut that up. We're going to have those diced up. And then we're going to put them in there because those have got to go in now. I've had this chicken in for too long already.
Another thing we're going to put in here, I don't know if you can see these in here. Let me pour these out here, show you that. These are the Thai chili peppers that I grew. Uh, unfortunately, they are not hot at all. Um, I don't know yeah, if I have to do that for, you know, a couple of seasons until I can find how to get them hot. But, uh, yeah, they just, they didn't, they didn't get hot at all. They taste like bell peppers. They're still really flavorful, but they're just, no heat to them whatsoever. So we're just going to cut off, we want to keep all, as much green stuff in here as possible. So we're going to just chop off the ends, the top and the bottom of the celery. Gonna give those a kind of a medium-sized chunks. Let me put this on here for you guys. This is way too close. Let's back that out. Wrong way. Okay. So, like I said, medium-sized chunks there. Maybe we're gonna do some angles on there. Anyway, so we have our other pot. Seem to be saying anyway a lot. Other pot over here. Uh, we'll be putting everything in there in a second, but right now we're going to put everything in this pot here. The only reason I'm going to be putting it in that pot is because this one here, I'm going to have so much stuff that it's going to it's going to be too full. It's going to overflow. This is our first like little cooking. But peeling our carrots. Sometimes I don't peel the carrots, you know, you give them a good scrub. Leave all the, the outer peeling on there. And uh Yep, I did stop passing it. Anyway, it's supposedly I don't know if it's true, I've never looked into it. Provides more uh, nutrients, vitamins, minerals, etc., etc., on there. Ugh, get quite too much. Let's see. I think three carrots should be enough. Probably put another one in there, but I'll think about that. Anyway, so you don't just see the pot over there. Cooking, stirring in my stuff here, my garlic, my onions, my celery. I haven't put the onion in yet. Anyway, cutting up our carrots here. Get our carrots up in there. Up in there. Get our mess out of the way. Uh, onion. Nice cut to the onion there. You can either leave them long, if you're going to leave them, <laughs> if you're only going to cut them this way, make sure you cut them kind of thin, because that's a lot of onion. Eesh. Very loud. I think I will leave them this way. Shoot, see, let's see. Put all that in there. That's basically what we're going to have in there now. Ooh. This video is going to be long. Okay, I am almost done with that. I've got too much glare on here. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see if we can give this a good stir and mix all of it up so we can see what's going on here. Let's get 
ちょ待ってロズメリー、I did not grow this rosemary, obviously. Salt. Again, I've got sea salt in here. So, a little bit of sea salt. A couple other seasonings here. We have our basil. Yes, that is basil. It's not anything else. Crush our basil up. So once we got let all this sit for a while, yeah. Try not to make the video too long. I'm trying to hurry. I'm messing up by hurrying. We're gonna take everything. Throw it in another pot. Because we have too much room here now. Or not enough room, sorry. But let's... Get our water in. That's it. It's going to come to a boil. Once we get it coming to a boil here, we let everything meld together, simmer all nice, and we're done. Um, oh, I said I was going to have some of the Thai chili peppers. These are more, you know, this is more for like color than anything else. I like to have a good variety of colors. So we got our reds in here. But. That's basically it. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut this in a second so I can let this cook and you guys can see me tasting it so you don't think that I'm talking out of my ass. And just to show you about the Thai chili peppers here, they are not hot, they seriously aren't. Of course, if I ate this now, it'd probably be the chance that I would be the one that got the hot one. It's not hot. Just kidding. It's it's a really good tasting bell pepper. That's that's how I can put it. I mean that's how it tastes. Sorry. Too close there. Anyway, finish putting those on there. There they come to a center. I'll be back in a minute with the final result. Thank you. Bye. Alright, I'm back. Everything's boiling here. I actually added in some uh some schnoodles. Some noodles. It's all done here. I'm gonna turn this off. That's basically it. Uh, get a bowl. Get my ladle, ladle, ladle. Has some egg noodles in here. Um, I'll find a spoon. Spoon and a fork. But it's gonna it's gonna be a minute before I try this, so you guys aren't gonna see me try it, I guess. But here's the soup all done. Noodles and everything in there. We got our chicken, got our carrots, got our pepper over here, our noodles over here, 
Uh, that's it. It's, it's uh, having difficulties. This is what I get for not doing this for a while. Whew. Anyway, that's it. It's done. Everything's cooked. It's delicious. How do I know it's delicious? Because I made it. That's how I know it's delicious. It actually smells really good. But that's it. I'm going to let that cool and I'm going to eat it in a second. But questions, leave them in the comment box below. You know, you know where it is down there. Um, that's about it. I, I don't know why I haven't done a video in so long. I really don't. But it's good to, good to be back to do this. You know, it's good to have that drive to do that. I'm just working on other things. Having lots of other stuff going on in my life right now. But I'm glad to put a video up. It, it really is. Or I'm glad to put a video up. It's good to put a video up. That's what I meant. But yeah, anyway. So if you just stumble across this page, uh, go ahead and subscribe to it because... I try to keep it updated. Like I said, it's been a couple of months. Uh, it's supposed to be every week that I do a video. Um, I don't know what it's going to be now. I really don't. Every two weeks, every three weeks, once a month. Give me some suggestions of stuff that you want to see me make. <sighs> That's about it. Comment, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Have a little help. From your old friends. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have a good night, and I will see you the next time I do a video. Have a good one. Bye.